this show, this show, this show messes with your mind. This show takes you in places where you think things are going to go and then they don't or perhaps you were speculating and then you think of theories and you look things up until like two in the morning and then you realize that you were right or wrong. It's worse when you're wrong, but nevertheless, this show is phenomenal. Hey guys, Clarice here. So I was supposed to get a lot of work done and work on the next upcoming reaction videos, and I'm going to, I promise. But instead I ended up binging Dark, and I watched it all 30-ish episodes in like two days. Yeah. It was worth it though. This is not the kind of show to binge either. This is not a bingey show. It's a lot, like it's a lot. I just, uh, I just had to keep watching because I ended up watching the wrong episode in the wrong order and then got a couple things spoiled. So I was like, all right, well, time to catch up. Now I'm here to just tell you why you should not binge, but definitely watch this show. <laughs> I just want to give this uh, quick review out for this show because it's been, it's been a while since I've seen like a really, really great show that I just want to recommend to people and I have not binged something like this in a while. And plus I also thought, I'm like, if I'm going to waste this much time, I at least am going to make a video about it because then that way it's a little less wasteful. This show is crime, mystery, science fiction. It is from a very mature lens. So you're think more on the veins of shows like Black Mirror, the new Twilight Zone. You're getting your science fiction, timey, wimey, whatever that Doctor Who quote is that I don't know because I haven't seen Doctor Who. I just know people that do. But that timey, wimey mess, you are getting that with this show. However, you are not getting the PG version. You are getting the straight, mature violence, uh, moral dilemmas, crime, sex, nudity, like you're getting that version of it. If any of that is things that you don't particularly care about and you care for in your stories, then it's okay. This might not be the show for you. But if you like being challenged, if you like watching shows that challenge your opinions, um, especially that kind of make you look more at yourself while they show you uh, very complex gray human characters, then this, this can definitely be a good time for you. This is the kind of show that, the way that I've described it to a couple of friends recommending is, this is a show where all characters live in the gray. This show does not have a single pure hero character and there is no purely evil character. You are going to see characters that you think you're going to hate because of the things you're gonna see them do. And then through the course of the story, you're gonna fall in love with who they are and then you're gonna hate them for the terrible decisions they make, but you're gonna completely understand why they made that decision and then just be frustrated and gawk and feel emotional and have your mind just messed up in so many different ways. That's what you're going to experience with this show. Personally, I think that stuff is incredibly exhilarating. I love that kind of storytelling because I like seeing gray characters. I find a lot of times they're some of the most human characters put to television. Is characters that aren't all good, aren't all bad. They're just people. They're just people who make a ton of mistakes. And a lot of times that makes for the most entertaining stories. And that's what you're getting with this whole show. Now this show isn't about one character. It isn't about two characters. It is about a whole ensemble of four families and then some. Hey there everyone, Future Clarice here. Adding on that this show being so ensemble heavy, it can get confusing remembering who's who within the four families. Now granted, the first episode does a great job at setting up all of the different characters, but just in case through the story you need a little help, I do recommend checking out some family trees online. Now, some are better than others, but be mindful, write no spoilers so that you don't get anything spoiled. Now, here's some rapid fire praise to some of the other great aspects of the show and why you just need to go check it out. Cinematography, phenomenal. Music and score. <laughs> Color grading, color grading, it uses it. It uses it to inform the story. Yes, I know it's not the first show to do it, but it does it so well. Oh my God. The casting, the casting is ridiculous. You'll get it when you see it. There's a lot of characters 
in there that are meant to play older and younger versions of the same person. That doesn't happen just once. It happens a lot. And you get it because the casting directors did their job. There's also the element of mirroring. Mirroring plays a role in this story, and at times it can actually help the audience know what they're experiencing if you pay attention to it. Same with the music and the soundtrack. There's specific sounds in this show where if you pay attention to them, they are informing what you're watching. And if you give them a look back later, um, after you've seen it, it's even more fun because you're just kind of like a detective finding all these different clues that they left behind, and it's really cool. The VFX also is solid. The VFX get a lot more grandiose towards the ends of seasons. There's three seasons uh, because you start just getting into a lot more of the heavy-hitting science fiction, um, and honestly, it sells it. I think, if anything, that's something that made me appreciate the show even more is just how grounded and well done the VFX were that it really set in that science fiction element into the show because the show is very grounded from its actors to its makeup. Its makeup is incredibly simplistic. This show's makeup is incredibly simple. It's very grounded. A lot of times people just look dirty and miserable and that takes effort. Also, I forgot to mention that this show is a true drama tragedy. I caught some Shakespearean elements while I was watching it. There's some historical, philosophical, and religious tones to it. There's elements of all of those things. And this show just really uses the best of genre from hooking you with its mystery to keeping you on the edge of your seats with its thriller antics to breaking your heart from its tragic arcs to blowing your mind with its twists. It's such an incredible ride of a sci-fi story, and this whole team of people just knocked it out of the park. Like, these people did not just understand the assignment, they got the hundred and the extra credit points. But also, know that it's a German show, and these actors are incredible. So I really recommend, if you can, watch it in German with the subtitles. It's just so much better watching the actors give their most authentic performances in that native language. And trust me, if Parasite can win Best Picture, we can put the English captions on. <laughs> Once you overcome the one inch tall barrier of subtitles, you will be introduced to so many more amazing films. <laughs> All right, everyone, uh, I think that's gonna be it. I can't stress enough. Dark was an absolutely phenomenal show that I enjoyed incredibly. I'm actually kind of sad it's over. I also kind of wish I took a little more time <laughs> watching it so I could really enjoy it, but it was an absolutely wonderful ride. Beautiful, beautiful, compelling story. It was such a fun experience, and I hope that you guys check it out. If you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe. You can ring the bell so you get notified on my latest videos. And if you liked this video or want to see maybe more reviews, uh, give this video a like because I need the engagement. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks and bye-bye.